My name is Alone and welcome to episode number 3 of the Egg Hardcore Iron Man and in the end of my last video I actually rolled construction and for that I actually do need a house before I can start leveling it. So I do need 1000 GP and for that I think I'm going to do the Stronghold of Security which is a bit scary but I think uh, with only the first or maybe the first and the second floor I will have enough money to uh, buy a house. I actually think the first chest is going to give me 1000 GP so let's open it and well, it's actually 2000 for the first one. I did not know that but uh, I don't even have to do the second one then so I can buy a house now. So before I buy the house I just want to say two things. I do actually have a discord now. I made it uh, just recently so not many people are in it yet but uh, the link to that will be in the top of the description as well as a playlist to the entire series if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes. Also I do have a friend chat, it is alone some if you want to come and check out the chat. So anyways, let's see how I can get a house here with my 2000 GP and whenever I actually buy this I'm going to start the one hour timer. So let's do that right now. It is now one hour started. Took me roughly six minutes to get here, which is the place I'm going to get my planks because I I can't really use my money to make my normal logs into planks. It's just way too expensive. And I also need to buy nails, the iron nails from the store, which will uh, most of my money go to. If I have to uh, do more of the stronghold uh, of security to get more money, then I will have to do that. But uh, anyways, I'm going to pick up a decent amount of planks here. So I'm actually only going to spend 21 minutes and 41 seconds pitting up picking up planks because when I go to my bank here I will show you how many I have and getting the nails for all of them will be pretty expensive as well I will need the equal amount of nails as I have planks which will be 159 and I will need I think it's uh, 5 GP per nail so I will need 750 GP I think for these planks I might be wrong maybe it's more but uh, yeah I think with the money I have I should be able to be fine so with 299 GP left I could buy the 159 nails that I needed so I now have a total of 34 minutes to do construction okay first chair is built on the account let's now remove it and keep doing this for the remainder of the time it is actually a lot of experience on every single chair. I think it's like 62 or something. So I will actually get level 2 here whenever I actually build this. This is might be a... Oh, it's 58 experience per one. So I will get probably quite a few levels from these planks that I have. Of course, I forgot the uh, nails actually do break sometimes. So I still have 85 planks left with uh, no nails. Uh, I will have to go to the stronghold of security to get some more money. So I'm not really comfortable going further down than the second one. So let's see how much money you get for the second one. Okay, that's 3k. That's a hefty amount of money. I'll probably buy... Uh, 200 or maybe 250 nails for that. This is actually going to be the last chair I will be able to build within the time limit. So let's see here. I have one minute left after this one and the total planks I actually have left uh, if you add this one as well is 15. I have 14 in the bank and with only one minute left and I have to run all the way to the bank and all that I can't actually complete all of those planks. But one hour done of construction including picking up money and buying nails also picking up the planks of course, I'm really happy with the 19 construction. So let's have a look at what the next skill is going to be. Shake this and what should I train today? The most annoying one I think I could probably get right now would be farming. So let's hope it's not that. Fishing, perfect, I've been waiting for this one. Of course now that I have fishing I have done the sea slug quest for that 7000 experience. And that only took me... 5 minutes and 20 seconds. It's an extremely fast quest and I went from 1 fishing to 24. So I can instantly go to uh, trout fly fishing. Because I really want to bank all the trouts and salmons that I will get during this 1 hour or well 50 minutes now. I'm going to be fishing here close to the Edgeville bank and just run up north and bank them when I have a full inventory. Okay, so here's the last seconds uh, of fishing. I'm just standing at the uh, bank because, uh, well, I had like 10 seconds left when I got here. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys how much fish I got. I got 221 trout and 65 raw salmons. And I also ended with 35 fishing, which is really good in one hour. From 1 to 35 is super good. But before I get a new skill, I actually want to try and see if I can do some steps of this medium clue. Because I know I can do the first one. It's just a big one that requires nothing, so let's see if we can actually do some more than one steps. Alright, it's easy enough. Let's see what the next step is going to be. Hopefully it's something I can actually do. Uh, I think I can do this. Southwest of Castle Wars. That seems easy. 
Absolutely easy second step. Let's uh, see if we can do the third one. Completing a medium clip would be so nice. Uh, allotment pad south of Hosidius Chapel. Yeah, I can actually do that as well. So this could actually be the last step of the medium clue. If it is, it will be the first medium clue for the account. Otherwise, I have to do another step. Okay, I have to do another step. Hopefully, I can complete this. I cannot complete this, but... Um, oh, it's in the wilderness. No, no, wait. It's not in the wilderness. It's in the Castle Wars lobby, but I do need some items that mm, is obtainable from the wilderness. So, I'm not sure if I will actually complete this, but because it is three steps in, I will keep it in the bank for now. But let's see what the next skill is going to be that I have to train. Prayer. So again, I did actually have to go down here in the Edgeville dungeon for the one hour to pick bones and just bury them. I got four levels and almost five levels. Um, I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now. You can see all the quests that do give prayer experience. And I do actually really want to do the Priest in Peril quest the next time I do get prayer. The reason why I can't do it now is because I need mining before I can actually do it. Because you need 50 rune essence. And I can't get them any other way than getting mining, so that is kind of unfortunate. And also, like, the quest recruitment drive, I technically can do, but it has some combat in it, and I wasn't sure I could do it with my current stats. Same for the, um, what is it called? The Mountain Daughter quest. That requires you to kill, like, a level 70, which I definitely can't do. And also, like, the uh, quest um, Ghost Ahoy. That one, I technically have the requirements for, but again... I need to have completed Priest in Peril. So Priest in Peril is the main thing that I need to get done. As soon as um, as soon as I do get mining, I get the rune essence for it. But I'm just going to type in the, uh, this one. And also, by the way, I got a lamp, which I will use uh, on the next skill, probably. Hopefully, uh, this next skill is going to be something good to put the lamp into. Fletching? Uh, yeah, that is not a very good skill to put uh, the lamp in. So, um... It's not a very useful thing, the lamp, it only gives a small amount of experience, so I'm just going to put it into fletching now. And maybe I got a level from that? Yeah, 16. So, fletching was actually one of the skills that I did save up these oak logs for, so I am definitely going to use all of them now in this one hour, so let's see how long that takes. So actually the only skills I haven't got yet is thieving, crafting, smithing, mining, and then farming. So any of those would be very good, I would prefer not to get smithing right now, but... Uh, yeah, otherwise I can take any of the other skills. Defense again. So for this one hour, I'm actually going to be killing the Minotaurs in the Stronghold of Security dungeon once again, like I did on my Slayer assignment. Uh, but the reason why is because these actually have a chance of giving Noted Rune or Pure Essence. And as I said earlier, if I do get 50 of them, I can do the Priest in Peril quest. And I thought I would need mining, but if I am lucky enough to get 50 of them during this one hour of defense, that would be a way as well. So I finished the one hour and I got 19 defense, pretty close to 20 actually, and I did feel quite a difference. By the way, just above here, I did actually buy the Steel Helmet for 500 GP from this store right here. And I got all this loot, so I actually did get some pure essence, but only 15, so that's not enough. And I got a beginner clue, and I will actually see if this might be the first clue I can complete. Please don't give me some fishing stuff now, as like the last times. Can I actually get something super easy? Would be super nice if I could get that. And, oh, cook a trout. I do have a trout in my bank, so if I do roll cooking, I can do that. Can I please get cooking now, so I can actually do that step? Slayer, okay, well, I can do more combat then, I can, if I get uh, the Minotaurs again, I can maybe uh, do some more combat on those. From last time that I was doing Slayer, I ended up with a rat task that I didn't have enough time to complete, so I'm doing that right now on these rats in the Edgefield dungeon, and I'm picking up all the meats, because if I do get cooking, I do have a lot of trouts and salmons in the bank, but any more experience is always good. And I'm going to be training attack during this time because I need a better weapon than a steel longsword. Getting like a mithril or an adamant one in the future would be very nice. But I actually don't have that much money, so getting the money also for the weapon is going to be a challenge. But at least I can wield them in the future. And my defense and strength is already pretty decent. 33 bears. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that. I uh, probably need to get some food for that. So I have to pick the cooked meat from the tables in the barbarian outpost again. Or no, not the barbarian outpost. That's not the right place. The barbarian camp at least. I don't know what it's called. This one. Right here. Barbarian village. So I killed a couple of bears and I got my attack level a bit higher and I took out my money and I sold my steel sword that I had and that will be enough money just barely 
to buy both the black sword and the mithril sword but I am 12 attack now very close to 13 so I'll use the black one and when I'm 20 I can use the mithril one. So when I'm doing slayer I'm actually pausing the timer meanwhile I'm not actually fighting a creature because otherwise I would uh, not be able to do more than like five kills in like you know entire slayer's task. So just barely managed to finish the bear task I have four minutes left and I actually just got 20 attacks so I'm uh, Went f I went for some defense experience after that and I'm also pretty close to 20 defense but I can now use the mithril sword but I will pick up a new task but that is by the way my third task completed I will pick up a new task and I will do it the next time I get slayer so let's see what the assignment will be for my next slayer 34 skeletons that's not too bad I guess but let's see what the next skill is going to be okay I just picked another skill let's see what it's going to be Thieving! Oh, I actually think I'm one thieving. Yeah, I am. So, can get the first levels in that. So on the first five levels, which took me three minutes, I just pickpocketed normal men. And now with five thieving, I'm going to Artie to do the cake stalls. And that is going to be so good because I do need a lot of food now that I haven't got cooking in a while. So let's do it. Quizmaster uh, random event, which is the first one I've got. I'm not sure if I should pick the 1000 coins or the mystery box. I do think the coins is actually better here. So I'm just going to go for it. Maybe the next time I will do the mystery box, but I actually really need money right now. But I'm 41 minutes into stealing cakes so far and I'm 24 thieving. And I'm just standing here under the baker and just stealing like this. And none of the guards can really aggro me. Can I get the last steals in here with uh, 7 seconds left? Okay, there we go. That is all the 1 hour completed. And I have to say, this is probably the best thing that has happened for my account so far. This was just insanely good for food. I can do PVMing for the longest time now. I mean, one cake heals 12 in total. There's three slices, they heal four each. So it's pretty much one lobster for every single one of them. And I got 27 thieving in one hour. Look at this. I have now 404 lobsters pretty much. And I'm not sure exactly how much the bread heals, but that's a lot of food in general now. But after that, I would actually gladly take some PVMing now that I have so much food. It's not going to be a struggle anymore to do PVMing, but let's see what the next skill is going to be. Runecrafting. That's Archaeos Library for one hour. So this will be the last book in the one hour, so let's claim the last runecrafting experience. I didn't get a level on that, but I went from 20 to 26 runecrafting. Yeah, one hour of Archaeos Library is not that much experience. I mean, it's the only thing I can currently do for runecrafting, so we'll have to do. But let's see what the next skill is going to be. Defense, even more combat. I'm going to do Minotaurs probably for that. And I have a lot of food now, so hopefully I can get those 50 pure essence. Perfect, that is the last 15 pure essence that I needed. I have 15 in the bank, so I am now done with that. And it actually only took me... Nine minutes. So I'm actually going to go down one stair now and I am going to kill flesh crawlers because they have a pretty good drop rate of herbs and if I get herb in the future I want to be able to get some experience. It was actually such a good idea to do this. That is the one hour done and look at this. I actually did 52 flesh crawler kills and I got two rainars which is super good for prey potions in the future but also like nature runes is really good, the iron ore is really good but then five guams, seven marantils and I think the marantils if i go check here i can also use very early on in herb lore i can use them already at level five so yeah maybe these uh, i'm not sure if the five guams will give me to five i'm not sure how much the attack potions are actually in experience but we'll have to see it was a good thing to do that and also i got a book of knowledge and i might save that actually for herb lore so i can maybe use those marantils in the future but let's see what the next skill is going to be cooking oh i have so much to cook Actually, the best thing about me getting cooking is that I actually had to cook a trout for this beginner clue. So let's uh, hand it in to Charlie. And, uh, okay, we get another step. So let's see if we can do this one. Uh, apothecary in the southwest Varrock. Okay, well, that's very close. Maybe I can just walk over here in this one clip and get my first casket. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think there should be, like, uh, anything that I have to do. So let's just talk to him and maybe get my first clue casket in the entire... Well, on my entire account. And we do. Okay, so let's see what the first beginner clue or overall clue is going to be for the account. Black Maze. So I managed to cook all the things that I had in my bank, which was the uh, cooked meats and the trouts and the salmons within 24 minutes. And uh, with the time remaining, I'm going to spend my 1.7k buying sardines at the port serum and then cook them.
I do actually have 8 minutes left of cooking if I do want to, but uh, I can't really do it because the only way I can do cooking right now would be make bread. That's literally it. And getting for the uh, supplies for it would take quite a while as well. So I probably won't use the last 8 minutes, but I did cook 156 of the sardines and that was pretty much all that I could buy with my money. But let's get a new skill right now and uh, I'm going to use my book on it if it's a good one. I've been saving it in my inventory. Attack, yeah, that's not a good one. I saw the black mace that I got from the beginner clue and also the mithril sword and the steel sword, or maybe it was the black sword, I can't remember. But I got enough money to buy a mithril scimitar, which is definitely better than a mithril sword. And I do actually need this also in the future for the medium clue step that I got earlier in this video. So I needed it regardless. But I'm actually going to end the video on that because it has been a while now, this video, and I don't really want to show you guys even more combat right now. But I do hope you guys did enjoy it, and I just want to say that, yeah, in the beginning of this series it might be a bit slow because I can't actually do bossing. I will uh, do that when my account is a bit stronger than this, as it is a hardcore Iron Man, I don't want to rush into bossing and just flop instantly. And uh, I just want to le really level up my skills right now, and hopefully I can get mining and smithing pretty soon, and also construction- No, that's not construction, crafting! If I could get crafting, that would be perfect, because then if I could get decent level, I could do Lost City and get dragon weapons and all that and uh, get the PVMing, well the higher tier PVMing rolling, but uh, I will do flesh crawlers with this uh, one hour of attack in the beginning of the next video, and if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe to know when I post that video, and have a good one guys.